Well, Monaco Vulcan 1 System Test 4 is here. And what's changed with the panel? Absolutely nothing. I haven't had that much time to think about it, to be honest. So, what's new with the system itself? Well, the devices I'll be using for this test are the, for Zone 1 initiating device, I'll be using the LNG-1R. It's one of these plastic pull stations from Notifier that were made in the 80s. I, actually, this one's from 2000. I'll show you the inside. I think that's the manufacturer date. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, I'll have to show you when we get to that. Now, it's interesting. It's got one of these push things, so you could push it and then pull it down. And you might be catching a glance of it over here, but I have a Faraday... 6226W. Now it's one of these mechanical horn strobes from the 90s. I'll show you the back of one of these. This is another one that I happen to have in my collection, but I'm not going to be using for this test. Now I do not know for sure if these can take FWR, these types of horns here. I think they're the contactless. Uh, more likely they can, but don't take my word for it for the, from this video. So, if, now if they can, I might be able to make an exception to some of the simplex mechanical horns that use that type of horn. But, that's just an idea for now. But, without further ado, without me chit-chatting about the horn, let me just get the other one out of the way. Let's get on with the test. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's push in and pull it down. That does not sound too bad on FWR. Not pretty, but not too bad either. Now I'll show you the inside before we, we reset this. As you can see, hopefully you can see Allen G1R, June 30th, 2000. So this is from 2000, interestingly enough. Now let's get my keys, let's see if I can reset this thing. It takes a typical notifier key. All you have to do is just do turn the key clockwise push it in and then lock it. Now that the pull station is reset, let me just put my keys over the side here. Well, that was not a good idea. Don't do that if you have one of these things. I just happen to do that quick. Now let's key activate this thing. Just give me a second here. I'm look at the key. And I could just reset the panel. Now, let's... Let's just do this thing where the pole station is not reset and I try to reset it. Let's see. Alright, I'm trying to reset it. See, it just went back into alarm. I'll just try that again. There, you get the idea. So I hope you enjoyed Monaco Vulcan 1 System Test 4. There's a look at the devices. Now again, don't take my word for it that these Faraday mechanical horns with the circuit board in the back, that's the best description I can give them. I think they're the contact list, but don't take my word for it. Anyways, I'm not too sure if they can actually take FWR. I don't know if it'll be damaging it, but I think this was a cool test to perform. Anyways, that will be it. Thank you for watching.